I wake up. I will keep my eyes closed for as long as I can. For as long as I can, I will deny I have woken up another day. A day that I probably can't cope with. The only reason I get up is to take what was prescribed to me. The wrong pills that won't actually help me, but are supposed to stop me. I crawl back into the cave I call my bed, the place I have made my hell and my heaven. I live in this bed. I experience all of my mind in this bed and on days where it eats me up because it seems so big or when it feels too small for all my thoughts feel too heavy, I don't mind it. My room is dark and I need to keep it that way. Daylight saddens me. It makes me realise how I'm wasting yet another day, yet another day that I'm trying to live life whilst life is passing me by and watch others live when I'm trying to survive. But they don't get it. I'm trying to explain my actions, crying, because the only time I don't feel numb is when my world is crashing down. You think you get it, but I'm glad you don't. Because feeling how I feel, or not feeling at all, or being so confused and feeling it all at the same time, I don't wish it upon you, even if it means losing you. Even if it means losing everyone, all of what is dear to me, all of whom I have trusted. If I lose you, I can survive because I have been surviving my whole life. But if you would know how I feel, it would break you. And I can't let it break you because you are my rock and I need to be the wave crashing onto you and smothering you with my weight and slowly lowering myself back into my ocean of emotions. So if you, my rock, break, my wave won't have anything to stop it. And I would just keep going and going and going and not seeing how I've swum too far into my ocean that is slowly drowning me and suffocating my last bubbles of hope. And I would get so lost into myself that I won't find my way back and maybe find another rock that turns out to be a floating piece of wood that is decaying and poisoning my already diseased mind. Even if I wanted to, I could not possibly put into words what is going through my head. My thoughts are so fast that I can't see straight and my knees feel weak because I'm so tired. Most of the time I'm not me and you need to know this, but I don't expect you to understand this. Most of the time I'm far away and my soul is fighting a losing battle with the demon that has made a home in my head and is hosting a festival all of the time. The festival is so loud and everyone is dancing with so much meaning that my ears are ringing and my head is throbbing. I'm not clear minded with my surroundings. And suddenly I will find myself back in my bed, my body aching, injured, weak, and everything is silent. And everything is as clear as it has ever been. I feel as good as I have ever been. I love life on my own be- No! You see, my demon is smart. It will make me hate my own mind and come disguised as my own mind without me realising I'm not me and this is not me, but if I'm not me, then who am I and what the fuck have I done? But it is not me. Yet I have to take responsibility for my demon's consequences and make up excuses for the aftermath and try and explain why I could not just have caught someone. How do you expect me to pick up the phone and tell the person on the other side that my demon is trying to win again and that I have lost control but I still have enough clarity to call? I should say, excuse me, while I go make this call and let the demon wait on its offence. And you will tell me, you sound schizophrenic, Vic, but I am not schizophrenic, you dick. I have one personality and that is my own. The difference is that mine is taken over by a vile creature that is living underneath my skull, sitting on my brain and not allowing me to see reality as what it should be. Instead, it shows me what it really is and if you could see what I see and feel what I feel, you would salute me. So do not dare and tell me what to do and do not even think of saying that I'm not trying hard enough, for you cannot comprehend what it is like. Your period of depression is not my disorder. You and I are different and that is wonderful, but don't forget it. You haven't met my demon because it is my own, moulded to my life. So I will do what I have to do in order to survive.